Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. You're probably wondering, what the hell is that? Well, this is something I call the Star Shield Missile Defense System. Now, this is a little bit of a real simple build, and as it was requested, it was something that you can build in survival. So we've got two missiles on both sides, and we've got the reusable launch pad in the center. That's just basically a simple turret, sort of base design out of two rotors and a few light armor blocks. We also have the cockpit in here. Now, this is a very agile little turret for what it actually carries. Now, it's carrying two very large rockets with a very big warhead explosive. And we can rotate quite fast, and we've got up and down movement. Obviously, we'd have to leave the target if the enemy ship was actually going to be in that direction. So, there's the actual target. We'll lock on there, hold it about there. And now, the second part is to disengage the landing gears. So, 1P. Landing gears are disabled. And now we need to actually launch these missiles. So if you had a two-man crew on this, you could launch them even faster. Otherwise, you'd have to be pretty damn fast at doing this. So now we need to get the access to the K. And we turn that generator on. Off the missile goes. And now we need to get over to the other one quickly so we can launch both at the same time. The reloading process on this is a little bit more complicated, but it's still just as fun. So we can charge off after the rocket. So the first rocket looks like it's going to impact any moment. There we go. We've got quite a nice hull explosion. Oh, that was, a, that was a big one, that. Now we got the second one going in for impact. The increase in speed as they go as well. There we go. We've got two massive impact craters here. We've took out one of the main engine rooms by the look of it. And let's see what the other one's done. Head over to the other front. It looks like we've got a few more of the reactor areas. So quite a lot of damage compared to a light ship. But mainly, these missiles are actually just built to scare off an enemy vessel. And the turret and this system in total is made so you can build it quite fast and quite effectively in survival to scare off your opponent. Now, let's get on to the actual missiles themselves. Now, they're really simple design. They work on using the new mass block. I'm going to cut this one in half so you can actually see what's inside so you can build your own. Now, we're just going to chop that like so and then just chop it vertically down. And... Cut that, and then cut that, and then finally just cut this top part off. So this is the actual missile itself. We've got this large warhead at the front. We've got a lot of explosive charges, followed by this gravity generator, followed by another gravity generator. You, this is optional. You don't need two, but I think two is better because if you fire at a ship with a gravitational field, it won't go off target because the other gravitational field affects the mass block. So we've got the mass block there, and we've finally got a power generator. Now, these don't need too much power in, so don't waste putting loads of uranium in them. But it is quite effective, so I'm just going to launch a few of these at some of these simpler targets down here as well for you. So you can just see, this. so this is just a flat block. And just whack that on straight away, and off it goes towards the target. And it should be a nice little impact. I think this might even keep going since it's too powerful. Yeah, there we go, straight through, and keeps on going with only the warhead destroyed at the front. And now we move on to the second one. And I'll show you what it does on heavy armor, but to be honest, it doesn't tend to do too much damage to heavy armor. It's more of a scare weapon, I would say. So there it is against the two-layer block, sort of vertical slanty armor stuff. Another impact. And I think that one, is this one aimed at this one? Yeah, it is. And now we just fire this one. There we go. That's the final missile away. So they're quite effective, they're quite easy to build, and it's something you can get up in your survival at an early stage if you've got the resources but you can see against the heavy armor they barely even make a dent so it's just more of a scare weapon against the heavy armor ships but to be honest in survival heavy armor is going to be so rare that it's going to be very well you're not going to really come against it much you're going to be coming against the light armor that you can absolutely tear apart with this sort of weapon now i don't know if you remember back to a few episodes ago about the Twarg warhead that I built with the gravity stones in the actual generator. And the concept was you'd have stones in here. I'll show you, this is a little pod. We've got a target set up over there. And what actually happens is as you launch it, the stone actually projects itself out the front where this hole has occurred and it's destroyed. Now I took some of your feedback on this and the first thing that I, I was gonna do was add a generator to this compartment here. Because you said this generator here at the front would blow off and it renders this generator at the back useless so it doesn't actually push the stone like we wanted it to. So now we also have this mass block and I'm going to show you what I've done. I've done this little simple design with the mass block but I'll show you why it doesn't really work. Now this is um, uses about four or five mass blocks in total. 
and what it actually does is it becomes a little ball with a generator in the middle. Now I tried this but the problem is it's so unstable when you actually put it in the warhead. You'd need a much bigger warhead and I think a bigger warhead than this would just be too costly. I mean it barely fit. You fit it fits inside here. I'll just demo it what happens. It, it's not very pretty to be honest. So you, you stick it in here. We're trying to get to the center of mass. So the center is about here and you can see how it's just so unstable. Just look how unstable that is. Now it's going to collide with the side any moment now. Yeah, there we go, it's just started. So the only way I thought I could actually do it was to cut it down even further. Now I cut it down into this small little block here and we still have some stability issues. So I'll just place that there. You can actually see the stability issues there as it's pinging around inside and it's just trying to wreck everything about it. But it becomes a little bit more stable after a while so we're going to try to launch this one. The only problem that I can actually see is that since it's so light it's just going to destroy the generator and destroy the block without doing too much damage. And remember, the original Twag Warhead did 10 layers of light armor. So that is going to be a very hard thing to compete with. So yeah, it's a bit more stable now and it stopped hitting the side. We've got two objects there. I think the mass is about 5,000. So it should do quite a lot of damage, but I'm under, I'm under like a debate with it. So I'm not too sure if it'll actually work or not. So there's the target just appeared ahead of us. We'll go into the cockpit view. Oh no, we can't because I've not put that special cockpit in. But the twag's still in there. And we just need to launch it when we get towards the target. So what speed are we at at the moment? We're passing about the 60 mark. That's the magical number. Uh, just make sure we're aligned and then release. Alright, so the twag should be heading out. And we'll follow it in. Alright, now fingers crossed that everything works. Now we're getting a bit of a corner on the target here. Right, that didn't seem as effective as tall. But it could have been because we hit the side. Right, so how many actual layers of armor did we do? So that was 10 light armor layers, and we got through quite a lot of them. But we didn't penetrate them all. And is the actual thingy intact? So I, at the moment, I say this one is not as effective. Because it's simply not left the stone inside. But we'll compare it to the stone, the Twag Warhead, in a second. We're now going to load in the conventional sort of ammo type and the difference between that and actually using one of the gravity blocks is that this is quite easily done compared to if you actually had to build all the other things involved in the other one. So we're just going to find the center of the gravitational field and I believe it's just somewhere around here. There we go, that's perfect. And just an inch forward, very sensitive controls here. And now we drop that 20 one in so this is quite a big rock quite a big rocket but it should stabilize quite well so there it is now we just need to get to the control panel and launch this thing so the previous twag missile managed to do 10 layers of light armor and i mean it managed to do some quite crazy things i believe as well it managed to penetrate in to layers and then actually get stuck within them so we'll st see if it can still do that and we can see if it can top just using the shell itself because the rock's still in there now. I'm going to increase the speed to about 60, 70 meters a second. That's around the sweet, sweet spot where if you release a weapon at that speed, it does its maximum sort of damage. Any faster than that, then you risk kind of ramming into the other ship. Uh, so we've just going to align this tube. Now I've got my sights up. There we go. Let's get to that 50, 60, 70 spot. And we're approaching quite fast. Are we aligned? I hope we're aligned. And then I'm going to launch it here. Alright, the missile is on its way now. Following it in. You can actually see the explosion on this one. So that explosive tip should go off. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, now let's see what sort of damage we did. Yeah, so the rock's penetrated in. But it's not actually done as much damage as usual. How strange. We'll cut it back. And see. So it doesn't look like the twag is as dangerous as it used to be. But it's still quite a... A scary weapon to be used upon you. So how many layers didn't it get through? So one, two, three, four. Right, so four. So it, did, it penetrated six layers out of the ten this time. That could have been a fluke. But that's what we're going to take. We're going to take the other one. So the other one penetrated around the same, but this one got a little bit extra penetration due to the rock. We've got a gravity generator floating there. And we've got where the rest of the warhead gone. I don't know. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully this will give you some ideas to build your own sort of missiles and weaponry using the gravity sort of fields. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.